Hey everybody, check out my new Paramilitary 2 that I just got. Just kidding. Uh, this is actually a Ganzo. This is the G729, the green G10 scales, and the faux axis lock. And I wanted to do a quick comparison between this and my real Paramilitary. This is uh, my user. It's an all-black model. Haven't had it for too long. Actually bought it used, but it's a pretty fantastic knife. Uh, love everything about it. The uh, kind of thing it is with these is you buy one, and you're probably going to want to buy another one. So I actually saw this Ganzo, and I was like, well, hey, maybe I could pick this up for a tenth of the cost because you can pick these up for around 15 bucks, and... Maybe supplement that, throw that in my EDC rotation. Um, so here today I'm going to tell you if I think that's worth doing or not. Um, you can see they're very, very similar. Uh, the blade shape, the handle shape, everything's pretty similar. Um, the one main difference I would say though is the uh, compression lock on the paramilitary 2 is far superior to this. Uh, fake axis lock. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not nearly as good as the Benchmade. Um, another difference, too, is that the uh, liners on the Paramilitary 2 are actually incest in, inside of the uh, G10 scales there. Recessed, sorry, not incest. The uh, Ganzo is a little bit thicker. Uh, the clips are pretty similar. Uh, the jimping... The jimping on the uh, paramilitary is really good, as where the jimping on the uh, Ganzo, not so much. You know, there's not really not really good for anything. And there's no jimping on the choil like there is on the uh, on the paramilitary. Yeah, I mean, this is just far superior knife. However, you can pick these up uh, from GearBest.com for 15 bucks with shipping, free shipping. You really can't beat that for this knife. It's a 440C steel. I mean, it's not a high-quality steel, but it's not the worst thing in the world either. You can put a really nice edge on this. The, uh, you know, obviously not going to be any comparison to the S30V, or if you want to get one of the different Spydercos, I mean, you can get the S110V or the uh, couple of sprint runs with different steels, but this is just way better. The edge retention and everything is much greater. But... For 15 bucks, seriously, I mean, what do you have to lose? I figured that, you know, the if this thing, even if it was a piece of junk, I wasn't really at anything. And, I mean, it's a solid, solid knife. The centering is pretty much, pretty much perfect. Um, it's hard to flip. Yeah, you can, you can do it. It's hard to do. It's, there's a lot of tension on the back here with the compression lock, but you can do it. You saw I can do it right there. Um, the blade doesn't really fall. Like the paramilitary, you actually got to close it with two hands. Whereas on this one, I mean, it's really nice, really free free falls when you open it up. Flips open like a dream. I mean, this is actually probably my favorite knife that I have, um, that I use anyways. So yeah, just looking at these two, I thought I would do a quick comparison. I hope you guys liked it. And if you're on the fence about grabbing one of these, hey, why not? 15 bucks, you can buy six of them and... You know, they're probably not going to cost you as much as a new PM2. So thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day.